Hi there, another vlog post. Um, today I'm going to talk a bit about projects on Kickstarter. There are a lot of good ideas on Kickstarter and almost as many bad products in the end or, or badly handled projects. Uh, there are a few who stand out though as being done meticulously well uh, the Miro bot by Ben Pert that I showed you uh, the other day with my kids is one of those. He had an idea, he, he got funded, he refined it and, and, and tweaked it a bit and he released it and it did just what it said, just a little bit better and, and it has not let me down. Uh, the same with Plinth. Uh, also, an, I, he had an idea, he had a prototype, and he, he made the prototype, got a few uh, mishaps, but still kept the momentum going and, and kept us all in the loop. Uh, and then we have this one, The Make Smith by Bar Smith and Tom Beckett. Uh, when I first saw this, I was a bit skeptical. It was two guys just out of college, and they're early 20s I think sorry guys if you listen to this and I, I'm wrong uh, uh, and I thought oh, are, are these guys gonna pull through this their their project their plan their uh, thing was to to make a affordable CNC machine for the masses and uh, they got funded, they immediately bought two laser cutting machines and started working and and, and, I, and I, I was actually skeptical quite a long time but the, the, the way they, they've treated this project is awesome as well and, and they've been meticulous in, in, in every way possible, kept us in the loop and actually have, have gotten and I got this with the mail today, uh, gotten a CNC machine out to, I think it was, let me see that quickly, 400, over 400 people. And uh, it's, it's open source and uh, open hardware, everything, so everyone is supposed to be able to, to make them even without their help. I'm sure they are going to want to make them anyway so so very affordable this was I think around two hundred dollars let me check that yeah one hundred and ninety five dollars plus shipping and from the US to Sweden it's it was quite expensive but that's not on their part so I'm just gonna I, I open this I'm not going to do one of these slow moving uh, unboxing videos. I'm, I'm not that fond of that. I just wanted to show you the the same with the Miro bot. It was so well packed. It was just it was cut out from a piece of MDF board, I think it is, and and it was still in the the sheets. So the sheets were just laid. I think it was four sheets on top of each other and uh, cut holes for the motors and uh, uh, the wireless antenna and stuff like that very nicely packed and as the pictures i've seen of this one it's it should be the same they let's no can't do that so here are the rods Put that on the floor. And a power supply. Or a lot of these chips. I I will clean this up later, I promise. Everyone who's worried, I'll, I'll fix this. Don't worry. Electronic parts, servos, and some uh, driving uh, driver wheel. I want this. 
see, this is what they did. They, he, when, when it was cut, they, they put this plastic on and, and, and made sure, they, they held it up to the light to make sure that it was cut everywhere and, and just packed it like this. So, once again, I get all the small pieces if I want to do something with that. I don't know why I would want that, but it's less work for them, faster and, and much easier to pack instead of hundreds of small itty bitty bits. You get just four, five, six sheets. Easy to just slide into a box. Very nice. And here are the circuit boards as well. So there are some soldering to be done with this one as well, just as with the mirror bolt. And another one. And it's empty. So I think I have my work cut out for me. Ha <laughs> ha, cut out, get it? Uh, a couple of uh, hours ahead or days, I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, so uh, I'll get back to you on this. was easy uh, maybe not so much but uh, it did take me a couple of days uh, building it was actually uh, quite easy uh, most of the time I waited for my gorilla glue to get here so now I have a new friend for doing this kind of stuff um, there is still a bit more gluing to do I haven't glued this uh, the the side panels. I haven't glued them to the rest of the structure. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be done or not. Um, I did do a tryout with a pen. This is just a circle sketch. Uh, the line is uh, the, uh, traveling in the beginning. It's not retracted in during the traveling, so that's why. So quite a good circle. I also did try it with a Dremel. Uh, and there's one where I didn't go as deep. And here is one where I went a little bit deeper. And I still don't have any clamps to, to hold the material down to the, to the platform. So therefore I, I just did a s simple one while just sitting and holding it. And there was no problem holding it and stuff like that. So let me say like this: for two hundred dollars, this works exemplary, exemplary, whatever. It works perfect for for so little money. Um, I mean, I built it in in uh, what a a few a few nights, a couple of hours, uh, and you have a fully functioning CNC machine. Uh, I now realize that uh, the next step is to learn Heek CNC and, uh, and uh, start doing that whole CAD CAM business. That'll be a challenge. Um, but uh, if you ever think about getting a, a CNC machine and don't have a budget to buy a really big metal thingy, this is by far the cheapest one I, I've found anywhere so I'm not sure if they sell it uh, online yet but this was a Kickstarter as I said um, so but hopefully they will get a shop online soon so anyone interested can buy one um, yeah so let's go back and do something else take care bye